What up dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome back to another Warframe video. So, had a very long day at work today, uh, and was very busy. So, I have a quick one for you today. We're going to be going over some, you know, some theory crafting ideas on how you can make a primary focus loadout in Warframe after the new update, uh, with those arcanes and all that stuff. We're also going to talk about the Tenant Envoy again. This will basically be a final Tenant Envoy build video, and like final, like just totally maxed out. We get the best element for you. And we're going to go over some other stuff as well. So before we get into it, make sure you're subbed to the channel. A lot of people have been subbing lately. Thank you so much. We've got plenty of videos on that. I think we've had like over 500 videos at this point. So go ahead, check out some old ones if you want to. Even a lot of them might be outdated. Okay, so the Tenant Envoy. We've talked about this already. It was an initial first impressions video. We're going to show you the final sauce here. So this thing has base cold. It's a Kuva weapon. So you should probably know what a Kuva weapon is. Well, it's technically a Tenant weapon. We can still call it Kuva. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to care that much. Uh, so it's a Tenant Corpus Lich weapon, and it's got base cold. So we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and get into it right now. The best element to get on this, I had radiation before, it's toxin. The reason you should get a toxin version of this is because you're getting plus toxin damage from your Kuva version. It combines with the cold to give you viral damage with no elemental mods in the build at all. So the damage of the collision of the rocket will still do toxin and impact, but the explosion of the rocket is going to turn into viral with no mods. You don't need to use a single mod on your build to get viral. And this viral damage type is very good when you're using slash procs, like the slash procs from Hunter Munitions. And for scaling really well, this is going to be one of your best bets. Since slash procs completely bypass armor, and the way that slash procs, uh, like the damage calculation for Hunter Munitions goes, you don't actually want to run any elemental mods on your build. As you can see right here, we have basically crit stuff, bane stuff, multi-shot, and uh, AOE increasing. If we were to put a mod like Prime Cryo Rounds, this one right here, this would not make our slash procs bigger. It would make the viral damage that we do bigger, but that's not really as important. It might be okay for lower level enemies where the slash proc's not going to be uh, as important, but yeah, for the purposes of this build, getting a Toxin version of a Tenant Envoy is going to make it so you're guaranteed viral, and you can use every other mod slot in your build for more beneficial things than elemental damage. Which, elemental damage doesn't have its place, like I said, but for this specific uh, slash proc min-maxing, we do not need it. So as far, as far as the rest of the build, we do have a ribbon. This is going to be a ribbon build just to show you how it can be with a ribbon, as it has very low stat ribbons, but thankfully, with this crit chance ribbon we have right here, uh, we can actually go from 84% crit chance with just critical delay, which is, I, I'd say, the new meta, like crit chance mod. We go from 84% uh, crit chance to over 100. So we can technically red crit um, if we get lucky enough. Since we're at 107, there's 7% 7 chance to orange crit. And then with the vigilante bonus, it's actually going to be a small, small chance to turn that orange crit into a red crit. So with all that in, in play, um, most I'd say all these mods, besides this one right here, are mandatory. So we've got Prime Firestorm for increased splash radius. On all AOE launcher weapons, this will increase your kills per shot, which can actually be very, very good uh, for keeping life support going, making sure like there's not an enemy just in the corner and didn't get killed for some reason because you didn't have a big enough AOE. This is a very, very important mod. Now, you could technically take it off if you didn't feel like you were doing enough damage or you don't have a Riven, uh, whatever. You want more fire rate, whatever, dude. Um, Prime Firestorm, a top-tier choice on explosion weapons. Hunter Munitions right here. This is actually very important, too, because this is what the entire build is relying on. Uh, relying. We'll get some gameplay on the screen here while I'm talking about this. Um, Hunter Munitions. On crit, 30% chance to apply uh, a slash proc. When that slash proc scales off, of, like we said, every, basically everything on your build besides elemental damage. So the more damage you jam on there, the more crits you jam on there, the bigger the slash proc will become. And keep, like I said, the viral proc also increased how much damage that slash proc's doing, just because that's what viral does. It increases damage on health and like technically armor as well. So that is very, very important. And keep on, since it's a 30% chance, uh, per, it's per projectile. So with all the multi-shot from Galvanized Chamber, the recently uh, added multi-shot mod from the Arbitration Store, we're shooting three rockets usually. Uh, it's, it's like two to three rockets usually with this thing. Um, that's basically three chances of 30% to proc that big slash proc. You'll see times when the enemy does not die, but as long as they get that slash proc, they're pretty much dead with this build. The Toxin Envoy with like maxed out crit and all that stuff, it's gonna be your best bet. We're also gonna show some Arcanes on both our Warframes. We're gonna show some uh, mods on our Sentinel and our, um, our Secondary that can actually help you even more to completely just focus on your primary. This is like basically, a, if you want to main your primary, this is the video for you. We're gonna show some theory crafting and stuff like that. Um, so just going for the rest of the build, we got Prime Bane the Grenier. 
Uh, like I said, you, you want to, for this build right here, we're basically focusing all on slash procs. These mods, the Bane mods, are going to be some of the biggest bang for your buck possible because these apply twice. They apply to the hit of your uh, explosion and to the slash proc itself, making it so you do extremely high damage with these mods. I would recommend maxing out at least the, the Grenier one and the cor uh, Corrupted one because those enemies both have armor. Um, the Toxin one, or the, <laughs> the the Corpus one's good for Toxin procs. I don't really use the Infested one that much. You probably don't need to max this out, to be honest. Um, going over the rest of the build, I have a ribbon for this thing, uh, which is Acricon, I believe, uh, which is going to be plus crit chance, plus crit damage, and minus fire rate. Now, keep in mind, minus fire rate on this thing does not actually matter that much because you're firing one, you're firing a rocket, it's killing like everything in front of you. Um, it's 0.5 fire rate, which feels really low because we're stacking with critical to like two negative fire rates. But then again, you can't really pick what your negative is on your ribbons. So this is how it is. Um, but yes, crit chance is very nice on the Envoy, as if we were to take off Critical Delay and put uh, Point Strike there instead, it would still be below 100% crit chance. See, it goes to 93. You want to have a little bit over 100 just to get that orange crit uh, possibility and the red crit, very small possibility. Now this last slot here with Serration, I feel like that's a flex slot. Um, this is going to be basically, de depending on what other outside buffs you're using. Uh, we've got Serration there right now. I feel like this is just really nice to get some initial kills because we're using Primary Merciless here. This Arcane does drop from the Acolytes. Um, and there's some there's some things we're going to go into in a second, though. But basically, Serration's nice for getting those first couple kills to get your Merciless going. But you technically could run other mods. You could run Hammer Shot for increased uh, critical damage and status chance, giving you a higher uh, chance to proc the Viral, which will increase your Hunter Munitions procs damage indirectly. Um, you could also run... You could technically run a, um, a, what's it called again? Bladed Rounds. Now, I don't like Bladed Rounds on specifically the Tenant Envoy because it requires you to be aiming for the increased crit damage, but this crit damage is actually double that uh, crit damage that Hammer Shot gives you. So it's going to be up to personal preference. Um, if, you, if you are okay with ADSing all the time, this is a pretty big increase in crit damage versus Hammer Shot. Or if you don't want to run either of these, just run Serration like I am right now. You technically could run Heavy Caliber too. Um, which will, that will increase your slash procs as well. If you're someone that doesn't like to run Bane of the Grenier or whatever, you could run Heavy Caliber in that slot, and it would be good against all factions, not just the specific faction you should be fighting. We've also got Vigilante Supplies in the final slot. Like I said, this is going to let you technically get red crits, and it's very, very nice for that. All right, so um, let's go over some other things in the loadout that's not just the, whip, the weapon itself. So we'll go over the new uh, Primary Arcane. Now, we're going to have a video going over all three of the Arcanes and why some of them aren't as good as you would hope for. But what you, what you should get on AoE weapons basically right now is Primary Merciless. Um, every kill is going to give you a 30% damage bonus for 4 seconds and stacks up to 12 times. So 30 times 12, you know, 360. Pretty good. Um, it also gives you increased reload speed and increased ammo maximum. So that 4 seconds, that that's like per step. You get like, say you kill 12 enemies. You have uh, 12 stacks. Four seconds per stack, and they, they decay one at a time. This is going to be your best spot in AoE stuff. The other options are primary dexterity, which is going to be like a focus on melee into gun play style. And, and the Envoy actually does have that auto reload feature. So using your melee, then switching to your gun, it could be a good play style. Um, but I really don't see myself using this much. Um, not, never mind the fact I don't have it maxed out. Um, when you get this thing maxed out, it's quite easy to keep the damage bonus going. But the way that we're using the Envoy, basically maining our primary... The Merciless is not hard to keep up either. Um, so the increased combo duration for, for melees, eh, not really too interested in it. Holster speed, it the Envoy has really low holster speed, so that's kind of nice. And then primary deadhead, not really what we're looking to do here. We're not getting precision headshot kills at all. Although some, we will be utilizing a headshot uh, synergy later in this video with the Envoy to get increased damage. So um, that's basically the build for the primary. If I'd say like stats to go for on the ribbon. Multi shots always good. Crit chance is very nice for getting over 100. Um, crit damage is also nice because you'll be over 100% getting those increased crit damage uh, multipliers. All right, so let's show the build on the frame. Now keep in mind, I'm showing this gameplay with Sebagoth. You can play this with whoever. Like Mirage is really good with primaries. Um, Rhino is really good with primaries. Like even Revenant has that thrall. Uh, Thrall Pact thing, which gives you increased primary damage and scales with uh, power strength. Guys, you have lots of options, and it's going to basically be whatever frame you feel like playing. I like to play Sevagoth. 
And I feel like Stubbegoth is pretty good with primaries as his Gloom slows enemies down. His first ability gives him a debuff for increased damage. It just It's what I like to do. And of course, it's going to be up to personal preference what you want to use. Um, and I'm actually utilizing the... Um, the uh, Strofa here. So we're going to basically use the Envoy's auto-reload feature, where I fire off some shots, then I switch back to my melee, and I'm reloading one round per second uh, with my while I'm swinging my melee around. So it can be pretty nice there. As you see, the Acolyte, basically, this is not a build focused on the Acolyte. If you went with a max corrosive build on the Envoy, you could probably just one-shot the Acolyte outright, but the Slash proc is really good against the Grenier as well. So here's some, a fun little trick you can do with Arcanes. Now, as far as Arcanes to use with primaries, we're currently utilizing Arcane Rage. And this one says, on headshot, 15% chance for 180% increased primary damage for 24 seconds. This right here works with AoE headshots. It will give you 180% damage with your primary for just shooting an enemy in the foot, pretty much. Uh, I feel like it's intended. I mean, of course, DE can just nerf whatever they feel like at any time. But this does technically work. It, it's a low chance to proc, but um, it does work. So as you can see right there, um, that's actually merciless proccing. Come on. It's a low, it's 15%, but it does definitely work, guys, I, I promise. Let's unpause and maybe it'll happen then. It, it, now here's the thing, if you don't want to use Arcane Rage, there we go, it's proc right there, giving us a big increase in damage. Um, if you don't want to use Arcane Rage, you can actually use Arcane Avenger if you're playing a frame that can take a couple hits. That will make it where your orange crits are much more consistent if you don't have a crit chance riven into the Mickey of orange crits uh, in the first place. And then um, it's also going to make it where those red crits are more consistent as well with the Vigilante bonus. You could even go further on your frame, run the Vigilante Pursuit uh, mod, which will give you some increased enemy radar, and will give you that Vigilante bonus, giving you even further chance to get increase the crit tier. Because, I mean, a lot of this Hunter Mission stuff is relying on crits, and if you get the orange crits, it's going to apply your crit multiplier again, uh, which is really, really nice. Vigilante Vigor, I'm not going to really recommend this mod to anyone. Shield Recharge, I mean, I guess you, if you really want that extra bonus, this is the way to do it. Um, but I'd say Vigilante Pursuit's all you really need to run as far as mods are concerned. And yeah, like, like I said, other arcanes you could run, uh, I'm going to go with instead and say Rage. I think Rage is really important. Avenger, really nice too. Just a fun one. Works on all types of weapons as well, including like Mesa Pistols and all that. Um, you've also got Arcane Blade Charger. Uh, actually, I believe it's called Primary Charger, where this is going to be similar to if you're running Arcane uh, Primary Dexterity. You can maybe try this one out, where um, getting, like, melee kills will give you primary damage and vice versa. I don't really want to run this one, to be honest, but it is 300% damage on melee, uh, on primary kill, and then it's going to be 300% primary damage uh, for 12 seconds on melee kill. 30% chance to proc. If you're going to be going for that play style, you might want to utilize it, but I'm not going to go for it. There's also Arcan Acceleration, giving you increased fire rate. Now, fire rate is a good DPS increase. It's going to really be up to personal preference, guys, of what you think is more important to your play style for you to have fun. And like I said, frames like Mirage, really nice. We've got uh, the Helmet Ability Energized Munitions on here, which will actually let you just spam your shots for even longer as it gives you ammo efficiency. All you really need for this is duration. Power strength does not uh, matter on Energized Munitions. Uh, and, you know, it, it lasts for not too long, so you don't want to run a good amount of duration. You've got Eclipse on here, so big chunk of extra damage, 512 with this build, and you can go a lot higher than that. So, as far as the other stuff, we've actually got some set bonus mods on our primary, or our secondary. So we've got, basically, just search set bonus. Set all this stuff, put that on there, because you're not gonna, this is a loadout guide for maining your primary. So, the big ones here, sack some spittle, enemies explode on death, dealing 20% of their health as impact damage in the area. It's not that great, but it looks cool, and it's interesting. Um, as far as the other ones, Jugulus Spines. For some reason, this procs just on normal attacks sometimes, so you might want to get some use out of that. And we're also just, you know, jamming some status chance, get some viral procs to the Kuba New Core. Um, this is not, this is probably the least important part of the entire loadout, is just getting these Saxum mods, because uh, the impact damage does not really scale very well. The melee, on the other hand, this is going to be uh, a new type of stat stick. Well, not new, it's a type of stat stick you could utilize. It's going to be the Furax, or whatever Furax you have, utilizing Amalgam Furax body count. Increased blast radius for specialized launchers. This goes on top of your Prime Firestorm, giving you a massive, almost doubling in uh, range of your explosion. The rest of it, we got Healing Return, if you ever punch an enemy for some reason. This is basically just for Amalgam Furax body count, and the rest is for, like, Saxum ex uh, explosions and healing your pet, or whatever you have equipped. Uh, if you, let's say you are using the Panzer of Opophila, a lot of viral procs everywhere, giving you massively increased damage. If you run pack leader, if you choose to run pack leader, um, punching an enemy will, with a melee will basically heal it back up to full. So 
That's why you run a melee. Not really any other reason besides blast radius increasing. Um, but what you could do is if you don't want to run the, the, the good pets, you could run a sentinel, which, you know, are garbage, but here's what they do. Um, you can run something like the um, the Prisma Burst Lich, or maybe even the Burglass, which we keep forgetting to make a video on. Just basically the same thing you did with your, your secondary. Search set bonus, and you can equip all the vigilante bonuses, giving you a massive increase in uh, chances to proc your uh, orange and red crits. Um, jam them all on there, and you don't need to run them on the actual build then, because, uh, you know, this this apparently gets nerfed for, for melees, but does not get nerf, nerfed for primary. So thank you very much, DE, on that one. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically the entire loadout. Um, I'd say, yes, Toxin all the way. And if you don't have a Riven in this last slot right here, you can run the mods we were talking about. You could run a Hammer Shot. You could run um, maybe some more elemental damage or upfront damage. You could run Bladed Rounds. Um, but keep in mind that you're not getting guaranteed crits, which might be annoying to you. Um, and yeah, that's basically it for the video, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. Um, I like primary. I've, to be honest, I've not been really been using melee that much since the, uh, since the update. Um, I've been using basically just primaries and secondaries, and melee just feels like an afterthought, to be honest. It's, it's not a focus anymore, uh, which is unfortunate, but at the same time, um, it's still good. Like, let's not pretend that melee isn't still good. Melee is still very good. It's still got condition overload. It's still got some of the easiest access to slash procs in the entire game, um, which is going to be basically... Look at this build right here. We're depending entirely on slash procs, uh, and we're utilizing them pretty easily. Um, see, like, we did two shots on her, she didn't take one, but when she did eventually take one, she was super dead. So, yeah, I'm going to probably go with our Arcane Avenger on the recommendation for the Arcane slot, but Arcane Rage proccing AoE shots is not too bad either. So, there's the Energized Munitions. Gives us like, a good chance to not actually use our ammo up. And, yeah, 420,000 slash proc with Mirage. I think we were in the dark there, not entirely sure. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you found the video helpful, and that was with no ribbon, by the way. Um, and, yeah, I will have a better video tomorrow. This is just basically an impromptu one. As, uh, yeah, it's, it's super late at night. <laughs> and I'll see you next time, guys. Take it easy. Peace.